welcome viewers in this video we will see the construction of variable electron stepper motor subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic variable electron stepper motor construction details there are three type of stepper motor available variable electron permanent magnet and hybrid so today we will see the variable electron stepper motor so we know that it is the most basic type of the stepper motor the two important parts parts of the stepper motor are stator and rotor so any type of motor we have stator and rotor now we'll see the constructional view so we know that so this uh, this is the stator stationary part the rotor rotating part so this is the outer frame in this outer frame the stator windings and poles are placed so we have three phase windings available a b c also we have for a we have a dash b b dash c c dash available so a a dash one phase b b dash another phase c c dash third phase a a dash is connected in series similarly b b dash c d c dash are connected in series so this is the stator pole in the stator pole the stator winding the small circle represent the stator winding in the stator pole the stator windings are placed this is a rotor shaft this the center point is a rotor shaft this numbers 1 2 3 is nothing but a rotor poles so there are three there are four poles available 1 2 3 4 four poles are available this a a dash b b dash c these are connected in series that is excited by the separate switches S1, S2, S3. As we know that stepper motor is not a continuous rotating motor. Continuous supply is not given. We are giving the pulses through the switch. So the beginning, the A, A dash coils are excited. So the rotor will align with the A, A dash position in the minimum reluctance path. Then B, B dash is excited. A, A dash is unexcited like that it will go. If we excite A, B, C, A, then it will go for clockwise rotation. A, C, B, A means it will go for counterclockwise rotation. So the rotation controlled by excitation of these coils. Now we will see the circuit arrangement, how these three phases are connected. Circuit arrangement we will see. See this A, A dash connected in series coil, B, B dash, C, C dash connected, connected in series. That is given with the DC excitation, it's the current I flowing. The supply is given through the switches S1, S2, S3. A, A dash controlled by S1, B, B dash controlled by S2, C, C dash controlled by S3. So if we close the switch S1, the coil A, A dash that is diagonally opposite or excited then rotor will align with the minimum reluctant position. After some time, the switch S1 is open, S2 will be closed. So B, B dash, diagonally opposite, that will be excited. So the rotor will rotate in a particular angle to align with the minimum reluctant position. Similarly, C, C dash. The sequence is based on the closing of switches. A, B, C, A means clockwise rotation. A, C, B, A means counterclockwise rotation. So this is a constructional view and arrangement of the coil in the circuit diagram. Now we will see the further detail about the stator and rotor. The motor has a stator which usually wound for three phases. So we have three phases we already discussed A, B, C. The stator consists of common outer frame which is used to enclose the stepper motor and protect it so we have the outer frame is there in that the stator coils and other things are placed so it will enclose the stepper, stepper motor entire stepper motor is enclosed by the outer frame and also it will protect protect from the other the salient pole of the stator are fixed under the stator outer frame 
poles are available. We discuss A, A dash, B, B dash. The stator poles are laminated and assembled in a single stack. There is a multi stack also available, but here we have only single stack. So the stator poles are available and is, that is laminated and a single stack. The stator poles are usually made up of soft steel or high graded silicon content, content steel in order to reduce the hysteresis losses and they are laminated to reduce the eddy current losses in the stepper motor. So soft steel or high graded silicon content steel is used in the stator pole to reduce the hysteresis losses and also laminated to reduce the eddy current loss. Usually there may be six stator poles and concentrated exciting, exciting windings are placed around the each pole. So we already discussed there are three, there will be six stator poles A, A dash, B, B dash, C, C dash that is excited by the separate circuit. The exciting windings are usually made up of copper material and pair of exciting windings from a face in the stepper motor. There is a pair. A, A dash, B, B dash like the pair is available. So there are three phases in the stepper motor which is considered. So we consider a three phase stepper motor. Now we will see the further detail. Each phase is excited separately through a switch by a DC source as shown in the diagram. We already discussed the circuit diagram. So each phase is excited separately through the switch S1, S2, S3. The direction of rotation of stepper motor depends upon the sequence we excite the windings that I already discussed. A, B, C, A means counter clockwise rotation. A, C, B, A means counter clockwise rotation. Separate video available for operation of this variable reluctance stepper motor in that is clearly ex explained how it is rotating. So the direction of rotation based on the how we are exciting the windings. What is the sequence we are using? The rotor also has projected poles which may be laminated or solid stop, soft steel material. It is usually made up of ferromagnetic material and it may be single or multi stack type. So the what we already we discussed is the stator. Now we are discussing with the rotor. Projected poles are available. Laminated that is laminated soft solid soft steel material is used. That is made up of ferromagnetic material. So in this diagram we discuss single stack. Multi stack is different different motor different type is available. So why we are using multi-stack? Multi-stack type rotor gives smaller step angle. In the step angle formula, number of phases available in the denominator. In the multi-stack, the number of phases will increase. In single stack, number of phases is 1. For example, multi-stack 3 means divided by 3. In the step angle formula, denominator is increases mean automatically step angle will decrease. That is the concept in that we are using multi stack for getting the smaller stepper angle. Generally number of stator poles will not be equal to number of rotor poles for proper operation. For example the diagram what we discussed there are six poles available in the stator and four poles available in the rotor. So proper operation that's are not equal stator poles are not equal to rotor poles. Here we consider four rotor poles. The rotor poles do not have windings. Only the poles are there. It is not having any winding. So in this video we discuss the constructional view circuit arrangement of a variable reluctant stepper motor. Operation of this variable reluctant stepper motor separate video available link given in the description box. We discuss the details about stator and rotor how it is made and what is the 
sequence of operation we discuss. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening. All the best for your examination.